All right, they're back, Lydia. Are you sure Finnick will like it? Yes. It looks like a grandma house. <laughs> It'll be good. Whoa, you built that all by yourself? Yes. <laughs> good job. Oh no, we lost a roof in the wind. Uh oh. oh no. We can replace it. Yeah, you guys are driving down the freeway and shattered somebody's window. Yeah, bro. <laughs> oh gosh. Looks good though. I think he'll like it. You got it. Keep going. Good job. I think you have a buddy in there with you though. Oh, he's out, he's out, he's out. Go ahead and go. Go fast, he's coming back in. <laughs> there you go. That is beautiful. Okay. So I didn't think this would qualify for a Kevin's craft because I didn't build it, but. Then, Danelle had a good idea that I could make <laughs> the deck. And then, since I found this on Craigslist for 40 bucks, it almost counts for a Kevin's It, it really does. <laughs> and then, he convinced me this. Come on. There's even a little kitchen for him. He can cook his food all by himself. <laughs> wow. That's pretty cool. <laughs> and there's a picnic table. You can <laughs> share meals with his lover. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a perfect little house. Now, really, this is just for Finnick to get some shelter when it rains, which is like hardly ever. But for a shade, he actually has two trees right next to him, so he should be good to go. We definitely need to call this the breeding bunkhouse oh, or something similar. Yeah. I don't know. Everybody put lots of really good suggestions in last video, so we'll have to dig them up and, and have like a poll to vote on it. He's gonna be a really good breeding buck because he's really strong, really big. And he's way quieter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what Ethan likes. That's what I like. <laughs> Tilly definitely loves the boys. A lot of people consider her one of the oldest on the farm, but she's actually not that old. She's only five years old, which is sort of the peak, you know, that's that's when they're at the almost the best health, maybe four to five years old. Goats don't go into menopause. That's why Luna keeps going into heat even though she's gonna be 12 this year. Doesn't matter. Ooh. All right guys, if we go driving with Lydia, do you promise not to make her nervous? Lydia, they won't make you nervous. <laughs> not less busy because it's not a weekend. No cars. That would be nice. <clears throat> yeah, just practice staying in between the lanes. That's just perfect. You're doing perfect. Okay, coast. So yeah, you always go slow around turns, even if it's a green light. You know, you still you're still hovering on your brake or, or pushing on your brake when you're turning. You know. Yeah, you don't use gas while turning. Yeah. You only use brake while turning. Do I have to watch out? Yeah, that's a great thing to do when it's merging, just to look in your mirrors real quick. You know. Good job. How do you feel? <laughs> you're doing it. You're doing it. Job. See, you guys didn't make her nervous at all. Oh, just a little bit. You did really good. So now we just got to keep going and eventually you'll just be driving like crazy. Driving goats around. So Kevin and I have a method where we teach our kids to drive at night when nobody's on the road. Even though it seems a little scarier for a new driver, it's actually a lot calmer and a lot, lot less yelling at each other 
during the teaching moments. We've also always taught our kids when they're older, they never really wanted to drive when they were 16, probably because we drive them everywhere. So Lydia is actually 17, but she is excited because she's gonna get her driver's license and then she'll be off driving everywhere. We're getting a bit of rain. Whoa, that's a lot of rain. The goats are still doing good. Well, look at our milking station and my table that I built. Yeah. Actually, I've been wanting you to get rid of that table yeah, forever. <laughs> I built that table. So I'm actually kind of happy about it. Oh no, it killed the doghouse. Oh man. Oh, no. Now we can't build another pizza oven. Oh my gosh. That's pretty crazy. So it rarely rains here in Arizona, except during monsoon season, which is like the end of the summer. July, August for us, and we had a huge storm last night. Big branch fell down, and Kevin's got a lot of work ahead of him. Uh, that's all right. My structure was strong, so I'll be able to fix that fairly easily. Didn't break it too bad, just a little really bit. Just, just bent it. <laughs> yeah, I can bend it back. It's not that big. It's just. Yeah. Uh, Chainsawing all this is gonna take a while. Yeah. But chainsawing is kind of fun. All they took out the branch that had the beehive in it. Oh, though. I know. But Ethan's pigeon survived. Yeah, and they got water in their food. Oh, so gotta clean up in here anyway. Yeah. Well, we have exciting news. The pigeons ended up liking each other a lot more than I thought they would. <laughs> and she ended up laying an egg. Oh wow, that's cool. Now we don't know if it's fertilized or not, yeah, but are. you know. As far as we know, he's helping out. He's yeah. like picking things up and bringing them to her for <laughs> the nest and things. Yeah. Oh, that's so funny. Safe from the storm. Yeah. They, they built a nest, quote unquote. <laughs> oh, well, we had stuff in there and they kind of pulled it all out. They picked all of these little pine needles out. These are their favorite things to use. Watch, she's going to hatch out the egg just before you head off to college. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm going to have to take care of it, but that's okay. Oh no, it looks like a branch fell down on the goats. <laughs> no, I put it there. Okay. <laughs> they like to sit inside of branches for some reason. Makes them feel good. You guys just having a blast, huh? Is that fun? Okay. They climbed inside the branch to sit in there. That's what I would do. Tilly, do you want that branch or are you stuck? <laughs> oh, I think it's both, Kevin. Look. Oh my god. Tilly, how? Sweetie. We got plenty of branches for you. Plenty of branches. Look, there's all these over here. Look at this. There she is. There's Luna. Just chilling over here by the babies. Did you survive that storm last night? That was scary. Well, the babies had a bit of a rough night because we forgot to open the barn for them. So they just sat on the front porch there. Yeah, so they, they, dry. they hung out in there. They stayed pretty dry. Just gonna give the babies a branch too. Okay, come on guys. They're doing good. They might have got a little spooked by all that lightning. That's scary. Oh, well, the bucks did fine. Phoenix good over there. Sora's over there peeing. He seems fine. <laughs> you did okay? He's still peeing. It's a, it's a lengthy process. Finnick's little house worked. It's really good because now I can put his hay in there and he can just eat in there when it rains. Oh. Finnick's starting to like Salem. Yeah. He likes her. Give her kisses. Give her kisses. Give her kisses. 
and the pond got to its highest level <laughs> thus far. I was a little worried about it last night, wondering if it was going to come up to the porch. Well, it actually overflowed, so yeah, it was, it was a couple inches more than this, and it's come oh, over the did edge. It? So in Arizona, we love the rain, and then there's like a certain point where we're like, no, that's enough, that's enough, because we're not really built, uh, we're not used to a lot of rain here. So a little storm that comes through and drops, I don't know, a few inches, like, is, is rough for us. Now the fish that have come up on this rock that they've never been on before. <laughs> yeah, they get to come up to the very top. The baby koi are still in here. Oh, there they are. Here they come. There's four of them heading over this way. They're a little more cautious than the others. And then I found two or three really tiny ones. So we have more. Like how ones. tiny? Like this tiny. Wow. You probably didn't know this, but Kevin's family is from Mexico. Kevin's family has some really good authentic recipes that were taught to them by the locals there. So without further ado, I'm going to share how we make deshebrada. So most of you probably know how to cook a roast. We start by searing all the outsides of it so that we can lock in all of those juices and all of that flavor. And then we'll put it in the crock pot with a couple fresh tomatoes from the garden. Now you can use canned tomatoes for this as well, but I had these beautiful, big, gorgeous tomatoes, so why not use them, right? We'll dice up about half an onion. And since I don't have any fresh jalapenos, we'll use a can of them. We'll also add some chicken stock, and then this is going to cook for a long time, all day, about seven to nine hours on low. Now, I wanna use this desebrada to make burritos with it, but I wanna make a really good elote, which is corn that's seasoned with Mexican cotija cheese, mayo, and cilantro, and that's gonna be sort of the garnish in our burritos. So after they boil, I'll cut off all of the corn kernels and then I'm gonna mix sort of this dish up. Now, most of the time it's served on a stick and all of these toppings are actually smothered on the ear of corn. But I'm gonna sort of, you know, put this in the burrito so it's a little bit different. So we'll mix this up and set it aside. And finally, after a long day of cooking, we'll shred this beautiful roast. I mean, it's got a little bit of a kick, but not too much and Oh, it's, it's amazing. So we'll warm up our tortillas and then roll it all up in a burrito and there you go. Now it might not be totally authentic to some of you but it works for us and it is amazing. So I'll put the recipe below in the description. Try it out, let me know what you think. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. Oh, the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right You and I, the future is right So, it looks like Gertie has given up on her chicks, and Kiwi is the sole uh, caretaker left for them. But they're getting pretty old anyway, so they don't really need uh, someone to take care of them, really. Honestly, none of them look like roosters yet, which would be great, because we don't like roosters that much. Thanks for watching today's video, guys. If you want to watch the video when we first got Finnick, Click right here.